Hello everyone, welcome to this video lecture. In this lecture, I am going to discuss the week 3 assignment of NPTEL course Hardware Modeling using Verilog. Here in week 3, they have given to write a Verilog code in programming assignment 1. Let us see what is the thing. The question is like this. Write a Verilog module to implement a positive edge trigger deep flip flop using behavioral modeling with non-blocking assignments. Here we need to use non-blocking assignments and using a behavioral, mo behavioral modeling style we need to write a deep flip flop Verilog code and it should be operate with positive edge of a clock and the state of flip flop will be cleared synchronously by using an active reset signal. So reset signal will be synchronized with the positive edge of the clock what they have specified. The module will take arguments like this 1 bit data input D, 1 bit clock input clock CLK, 1 bit reset input RST, 1 bit output Q. Here they have given the module definition. Let me take the module definition as it is and I am going to copy over here. So this is the module definition for D flip flop and since they have given uh, the code should be in the behavioral description. Here we need to declare the output Q as a register. So first let me declare register Q and then let me write the logic always at the rate. So here we need to uh, make this flip flop operate in positive edge of clock that's why pause edge of clock. Clock is represented as CLK. This is what my sensitivity list and then begin and let me use if else statement here if reset is equal to 1 RST if RST means it is going to check whether reset is 1 otherwise you can write it as double equal to 1 it is same the meaning of if RST and RST double equal to 1 means same. If reset I need to make my output Q should be equal to 1 tick B 0 right and they have specified we need to use non blocking assignment. So I am supposed to assign value like this with a non blocking assignment operator less than equals. Once the reset is 1 Q will be 0 else when reset is 0, my Q output of my flip flop should follow the input that is input is D. That's why Q is equal to D with a non-blocking operator again. And I am going to end this begin always block and then I need to write end module to end this particular D FF module. This is my design for D flip flop uh, using positive edge triggered clock and non blocking assignments. Okay. Since they have specified as the flip flop is clearly synchronous uh, with respect to the reset signal is concerned, here no need to specify the reset signal. So let me compile this, save as drop first and then compile and run. Okay, this is what the test case output is. Here they have taken four cases. In the first case, uh, the expected output is Q is equal to X when D is equal to X and reset is zero. So uh, we are getting the actual output Q is equal to X, same as the expected output. In the test case two, they have given reset is equal to one and when reset is equal to one, Q should be zero. That is the expected output here. The actual output is also matching with that and in test case 3 they are making d is equal to 1 so q should be 1 so when d is equal to 1 here q becomes 1 in the actual output similarly in test case 4 d is equal to 1 uh, that's why q is equal to 1 and here the previous output q is x so this is how we can solve this particular question uh, 
of designing D flip flop with respect to assignment uh, 3 programming assignment 1.